Cheaters suck. In any video game, cheating never fails to destroy the fun. Thankfully now, some game developers have realized how awful cheating is and they've decided to put in features in their game that not only stopped cheaters, but humiliated them in the process. Welcome to Trending 10, and today we're counting down the top 10 video games that destroyed the cheaters. But before we begin, be sure to like the video, hit subscribe, and click the bell to stay notified of all our future content. Number 10. Super Monkey Ball Jr. This entry in the Super Monkey Ball series on the Game Boy Advance was particularly mean to those that tried to use the famous Konami code to get an advantage. For those of you that don't know, perhaps the most famous cheat in gaming history is Up Up, Down Down, Left Right, Left Right, BA, known as the Konami Code, and it has been usable in hundreds upon hundreds of games. Well, Super Monkey Ball Jr. is certainly not one of them. If you try to use the Konami code in this game, the cheat will be rejected and the title of the game on the menu screen will change to Super Nice Try. Number 9. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Now, this one doesn't have to do with cheating in the real world, but rather in the world of the game. In this Game Boy Adventure title, you occasionally have to visit local shops to buy items to use on your journey. But let's say you want to buy some items and you don't have enough money to pay for them. Well, you can run away from the shopkeeper without paying. But if you do so, the NPCs in the game will start referring to you as Thief instead of the name you typed in at the beginning of the game. And if you choose to return to the store at any point, the shopkeeper will seriously mess you up. Always pay for your arrows. Number 8. The Witcher 3 This RPG was critically acclaimed when it was released in 2015, and it had so much to do that it's not hard to believe that players found a good amount of exploits. So what some players would do was kill a cow, collect the leather, sell it, then skip the game clock ahead one hour so that the cow would respawn, and repeat the process until they were filthy rich. Well, developer CD Projekt Red was not a fan of this, so they deviously added a new enemy into the game. If your character was caught doing the cow glitch, the game would spawn the god of cows to come and destroy you. No, seriously, a giant cow monster would come to kill you, and if you managed to kill it, Another one would rush in to finish you off. Serves you right for killing all those innocent cows. Number 7. Sim City. This city simulator franchise does allow the player to use cheat codes, as many classic games do. But if you try to cheat too much, you will feel the wrath of EA. In a couple games, using the cheat code FUND will grant you some extra cash to use while creating your civilization. But using the code too many times will have some drastic consequences. In SimCity 2000, if you used fun too many times, the game will give the extra money to you as a loan instead of regular cash. A 25% loan. Good luck paying that back because you definitely won't. Oh, and it gets worse. In the first SimCity, if you use the fun code too many times, an earthquake will come up and straight up destroy your city, forcing you to start from scratch. Ooh, now that's just mean. Number 6. Banjo-Kazooie This lighthearted classic from Rareware is widely regarded as one of the greatest Nintendo 64 games of all time. Now, like many classic games, Banjo-Kazooie featured cheat codes that the player could discover and use throughout their adventure. But there were also a good amount of codes that were not so welcome. If the player used too many of these unwelcome codes, Banjo would straight up delete your save file. Ooh, now that's cold. At least you got a warning first. Number 5. Donkey Kong 64 Speaking of Rareware classics, here we have another one from the golden age of Nintendo 64 platformers, Donkey Kong 64. Now, back then, there was a game editor called GameShark, basically a cheater's best friend. You could utilize it to rewrite code in a game to give you unlimited health, extra strength, etc. Well, Rareware wasn't a fan of this. In Donkey Kong 64, if the game detected you rewriting any part of the code, your character would no longer be able to pick up any items and would always die in a single hit. And there was definitely no going back. If you used a Game Shark to cheat in DK64, you were forever stuck with a busted, nearly impossible copy of the game. Number 4. Grand Theft Auto 5 one of the best-selling game series of all time, Rockstar Games definitely anticipated some of the players to not be the best sports and installed some amazing backup plans to deal with them. If you quit too many group missions, destroy too many people's stuff, or get enough other players to complain about you, the game glues a big dunce cap to your head for the entire world to see. And that's just for being a bad sport. If you actually cheat, things get much, much worse. 
Early in the game's lifespan, there was an exploit that allowed players to bring the cars that they bought in single-player mode into the multiplayer mode, giving them a massive advantage as these cars had more features than those in multiplayer. Well, after discovering that people were exploiting the cars in multiplayer, Rockstar decided not to fully patch it, but instead to install a feature where if you tried to bring your single-player car into multiplayer, your car would immediately explode, killing you instantly and destroying the vehicle. That'll teach ya. Number 3. Titanfall This first-person shooter from Respawn Entertainment was great fun when it was released in 2011, bleeding infantry combat with giant robots roaming the battlefield. Like many online games, there were plenty of players trying to find ways to have an advantage over their opponents. Luckily, Respawn had plans for them. If you were caught cheating in Titanfall, you could still play the game, but you were only allowed to play with other cheaters, meaning that there were servers saved specifically for cheaters to only be able to cheat with one another. Cheating isn't so much fun when everyone you play with is doing it. Number 2. Slender The Arrival now, there's not really any reason to play a horror game if you're going to avoid all the scares, but I guess some players thought otherwise. As in Slender The Arrival, there was an exploit where if you walked outside the borders of the map, you couldn't be caught by any monsters, allowing you to walk through levels without opposition. Well, the developers didn't want anyone to escape the scares of their game, so they installed a patch where if you tried to walk outside the map, the player would fall through the ground to their death and then be greeted with Slenderman right up in their face with the message, not even a bug in this game will save you from me. Definitely enough to scare you out of your cheating ways. And finally, number one, H1Z1. Perhaps the most famous instance of cheater punishment, this online survival game had quite a cheater problem when it was first released. Before fixing the exploits, however, the developers banned all players who had been spotted cheating, over 30,000 people in total. After the game was fixed, the banned players were allowed to come back and play, but only if they uploaded a public apology to YouTube and sent it to the developers, who would, of course, then share it with the world. Oh, and it gets worse. After getting the same lame excuses from cheaters, the developers actually uploaded their own apology video mocking all of the cheaters for their exploits and their awful reasoning. I think it's safe to say that these guys definitely don't like cheaters. But alright, there we go guys, that's it for our list of 10 games that absolutely destroyed you if you tried to cheat. Know of any other cheater harassment games? Be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe for more great content. But alright, thanks so much for watching Trending 10, your guide to what's viral right now.